Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobrý den, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and I love fluid art, so today I would like to show you easy acrylic pour which leads to amazing result. I'll be using all these paints and I'm going to show you everything so you can do it too. I'm using acrylic colors from Lucas Krill Studio. I buy this in local art shop. I'm sorry, I don't know what's available in your country. You have to search online and I'm using cadmium yellow, indian yellow, fox pink, magenta, purple, blue, turquoise, yellowish green and viridian green and I'm going to show you how I mix my colors. I'm using yogurt cups and I'm going to put blob of this viridian yellow on the bottom of my cup like this and I'm going to mix it with homemade pouring medium. I mixed 60% of glue 40% of water. My PVA glue is called Hercules, that's what's available in my country. And I mix one part of acrylics and two parts of pouring medium. Mix it up very well. Perfect. This is the right consistency. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put two drops of silicone in all of my paints. One, two. Mix it up a little bit. Perfect. And that's prepared. I will be pouring on white primed cotton canvas, which is size 50 by 50 centimeters. It has got white edges like this, which is nice. And I'm going to start by covering it with white mixed with pouring medium in same ratio like my colors. So let's pour it on. Everything is covered with white, so now I can start pouring my paints. I'm going to start with the Viridian Green. That's done, so now I'm going to use this piece of plastic sheet, which is a great tool for swiping, and I'm going to swipe all the way down. Perfect. Now let's move the paint a little bit so it mix all together. Perfect. Now it's time to use heat gun. It's extremely hot. I bought it in Lidl. It was around 10 euros. Nothing too expensive. It helps me to pop these cells. Wow, and look at that! I absolutely love these cell formations! I'm going to show you a little detail. Look at these cell formations. They might grow a little bit more or stretch a little bit while they'll be drying, but it will be a perfect background for my future idea. So I'm going to let it dry for about a week. It needs to be completely dry before I start doing my thing onto this amazing background. So see you soon.
After a week, my paint is dry, so I can start painting my dragonfly idea on the top of this pour. And these cells will be a perfect background for the wings. So I already painted or draw this dragonfly pattern on my transfer paper. And I'm just gonna go over these outlines with my pencil and i'm just it's very easy you just go around the shape which you chose like this and then it creates a very tiny line which you can see and i'm gonna go over these thin lines with my acrylic marker so it will be easier for me to see the shape of a dragonfly and you can choose whatever shape you prefer. I chose dragonfly because I love the symbolism of, of dragonfly. So now it's done and I'm going to use this cracking primer. It's part one. It has got two parts, cracking primer and then the second one, which creates beautiful cracks. So I'm going to put this glue where I want my cracks to be. It takes a few hours till the glue gets dry. And then when it gets dry, it's see-through and I can apply the second part, cracking paste. This one is metallic and I'm gonna apply it with palette knife. I bought this in local art shop. It's called crackle paste. And I'm sure if you search online, you will be able to find loads of options. Sometimes it's just one part cracker paste, sometimes it's two parts, so it's up to your possibilities. I don't know what's available in your country, just search for crackle paste. So I'm just applying it on the places where I want my cracks to be. And after one day, look at that. I love this amazing shiny pattern which the crackle paste created. Now I'm going to draw a few little doodle details on my dragonfly. The eyes which will be gold and shiny. And the very abstract doodle lines. Now I'm going to use this mixture relief glue from Pebeo. It has got tip like this and I'm going to do uh, outlines with this glue. There is also this metal leaf glue. It's a little bit different. You have to apply this with a tiny brush or bigger brush if you prefer. So if you want, you can choose whatever glue you prefer. Just search for mixture relief glue or metallic leaf glue and you apply it on the places where you want your relief to be and then you put a golden or silver or any other color foil embossing foil on the top of this glue few little details When the glue is dry, it's see-through, so you know it's dry. And this is the embossing golden foil. You can't tear it like the other foil, which is also available. You just put it on the top of the glue. Go like this with your fingers or brush, whatever you prefer. Then you tear it like this and voila, here's your beautiful golden detail. You can use this in so many creative ways. So I'm going to apply it everywhere where the glue is. And look at that. I also go around these cells with the glue because I want to paint amazing details on the wings. And the shape of the cells helped me to create this amazing pattern. Look at that beautiful shine on the sunshine. I'm also going to use my acrylic marker for creating little details, which hopefully will make the cells look more 3D. So I'm just doing these little reflections 
inside of my cells. Now the last step is painting a shadow underneath my dragonfly. I'm using blending brush and very dark blue Prussian blue color. You could also use black, whatever color you prefer for shades. And I'm just gonna go around the dragonfly like this. I always put my brush in water and then I blend the dark color which creates the shade underneath my dragonfly. And last little detail, my signature. Yeah, and this is the result of my special dragonfly fluid art. And I'm absolutely in love with this result. I love the pattern on these wings and all the cracks which shine on the sunshine. The details in this are amazing. I also made the circle around my dragonfly. Look how beautiful it looks. So this is a whole scale and I want to show you how it looks on the wall. And this is how it looks in my art studio. The shine is so amazing. I just hope this inspired you to create your own amazing art. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also join my Facebook group Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. I also have got Instagram page Me Paintings where you can see all of my artwork. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching this painting tutorial. I can't wait to see you again. Bye!